and then this one gets the button hook waits look at that pass what a fantastic backhand cross ice cross zone pass he knows exactly what he's doing all right this defenseman is clearly just pinned to him like that's his job out there fantastic head down head is up and what is he doing he's looking he sees this guy streaking in he knows that this guy and this guy are in the passing lane kind of so he's got to do like a, a leading pass right and this might not seem like much but again at the OHL level we were just watching like all the all of his the rest of his team just turn over the puck just not being able to complete passes at all uh, so it shows just how much better he is and this is something that'll play anytime you get PKers out of position you want to take advantage of it anytime you have on the power play the opportunity to grow cross zone that's like guaranteed goal kind of stuff at the nhl level so to see him be able to be patient enough to wait for something head up he's looking around he's surveying his options he sees that there's all this space out there and he sees that he's got this defenseman or activating this this winger activating he makes the play over to him and then again at the nhl level you'd like to see that pass inside this person in, the, in front of the crease maybe do something with it uh doesn't really happen here unfortunately for shane but um it's it's good stuff uh but shane wright fantastic positioning here right and he's made sure that he has established himself physically on the inside he's he's positioned again like he's low he's boxing out this defender the supposing you know forward and he's making sure that hey my sticks on the ice i'm ready to potentially receive a pass here now obviously i don't know who this is if that's wah I, I think it might end up being wah this defenseman laying down stick on the ice he's taking away the passing lane to shane wright but shane wright's doing the right thing i mean he's he's there this is exactly what you want to see somebody in the bumper slot doing is he's boxed out a guy he doesn't have to worry about this defender at all this defender is now completely out of the play and he's got a stick on the ice ready to take a quick shot on the goaltender from a fantastic scoring position as the play develops all right shot goes back to the point let me turn around let me now be in that front let me screen the goaltender let's do all that kind of good stuff right he's he's, he's doing that again i'm going to establish if you look he makes such a it's like a, such a little subtle thing watch him watch him right right in this next little bit here he, he looks over he sees the defenseman coming he's like all right this guy's gonna come he's gonna he wants to establish try to clear me out physically watch what he does he just kind of hunkers down and he just kind of he's like okay th that totally works because you know what this defenseman is really valuable and i'm gonna let him take himself out of the play by and i'm just gonna make it hard on him he's gonna have to really push me and what ends up happening he, he does that defenseman is now completely out of the play and it opens up this fantastic passing lane cross crease easy goal like that's going to be a goal at any level of hockey ever and it's all just because shane wright was like hey you're gonna physically body up on me all right let me take you on a little ride because once that once that physical presence is there no defender wants to like just leave it right they're gonna feel like hey i'm winning this battle i'm pushing you along like i'm i'm really pushing you because if you look shane wright could put up more of a fight than this he's not digging in he's not really trying to to push back at all he's just letting that defender push him out of, out of that spot because he knows he's that defenseman is pushing himself out of position and it's going to open things up down low that's what that's the same play canada has wanted to run all tournament and so that's why I know Shane Wright's doing all this intentionally is because this has uh, been a consistent thing from Team Canada. They want to get that sh that um, cross crease pass over to Dylan Gunther over there on the on the top side there. And so that's why I know Shane Wright's aware of it. He's a smart player and that's exactly what he's doing in that situation. That isn't just random like, oh, wow, that he happened to do this. He wasn't strong on his skates, but it ended up benefiting them. No, this is the third game so far this tournament. We've seen them want to do this so much already that's Shane Wright being a smart player and understanding that you know I am I can be an addition by subtraction I can if I take this defender out of the zone out of the play I, I can make sure that that everything's fine but to see that play I mean he just he gets manhandled by that small Swiss kid 21 like you just you can't do that when you have that kind of size you got to be strong, square to that puck. I mean, he could be having that guy completely on his back, be square to that puck, make sure that puck stops on his stick, take a look behind him, send it back to a guy streaking down the slot. That's like an instant goal. You know what I mean? Like that's a big opportunity missed. 
for, for him there just because he's not uh, strong on his skates. He's down here near side. He's going to work his way back over. I'm going to go net front because it was there. Again, I like that awareness. Why does he have that level of awareness? For all these plays, we're seeing him. He's cutting. He's taking away passes. He's cutting off passes from the other team. Right there, he says, okay, we need somebody net front. That's priority one. I'm going to go net front. And then once the, the guy who's supposed to be net front comes in, he, he slides out to where he is. That's incredible awareness. So I know it's in him. I know the idea of, of moving to open up a passing lane. Like he is more than capable of understanding that because we're seeing other high level thought processes on the fly. He's making these decisions. He looks really, really good. Uh, and, the, and so the only conclusion I can come to is he just doesn't feel confident enough uh, in his ability to move around to do it. And, and, I, and I just think that that's a shame. There we go. That be this is this is I want to praise him so bad because what is he doing? I like this a lot. He understands he can't keep up with him skating backwards. He's made the again the appropriate read, uh, and his instincts told him I need to be turning around. I need to make sure I have the speed to hang with this guy going back. But in the meantime, let me see if I can disrupt him with my stick. This is perfect. Disrupts him with his stick. Fantastic. If you're gonna do that. Hold on to your stick because now you're caught in this strange situation. He does a fantastic job recovering to, to take him out physically and keep him from getting the puck. Like that is amazing. You could not play this bad situation better than Ty Nelson plays it. But again, it's just, you know, you had the right instincts. Everything was going well. Just hold on to your stick. All right. So for tonight, uh, before we dig into the Jagger and Ty stuff, I wanted to do start with something a little bit special um, because something like really, really cool happened in the NHL this past week as it relates to my time as a scout. Somebody is going to score a goal here uh, that that is kind of special to me. This guy right here is going to pick up the puck and he's going to skate in and he's going to shoot and he's going to score his first ever NHL goal and that is Cole Gutman. I know Alex knows what I'm talking about here. Um, but that, that kid right there, Cole Gutman right here, was the first uh, player back when I first started scouting at the ripe old age of 18 um, that I had as my top ranked player. And I loved Cole Gutman. He was playing for the Junior Kings at the time as a 2000 birthday, uh, which <laughs> sounds crazy, makes me feel so old. Um, but I was, I was scouting him when he was 14 and I thought he was the best player. And I was the only scout amongst all the WHL scouts that were around that felt that way about him. They drafted uh, Cole Gutman Portland. And while he never played with us, he decided to go the NCAA route. Um, it was still like a big deal because me kind of really staking a claim in Cole Gutman there um, was, was kind of the thing that, that kept me going down the scouting route and kept me with Portland because um, I was I was going against the grain, but it was for a player that they also internally had been feeling that way about, and so it showed that I was on the same page with them. I did know what I was talking about a little bit, and it's just really, really cool to see him here scoring his first NHL goal as a 23-year-old man, and the last time I really saw him, he was a 14-year-old kid. I also have here, this was um, my first ever Combine Top 10 after I met with the uh, the Portland guys and everything, and as you can see, I've got I've got Cole Gutman number one there. I just it's just funny going back and and looking at this kind of stuff. Um, this is this is how I started this this kind of stuff right here with these just Excel spreadsheets. 